Hey guys, welcome back to the Fandom Minutes. I'm Mike. And I'm Matt. And I'm Brian. And today, we're here to talk to you about Halo Infinite. Oh yeah. The following is the new Halo Infinite multiplayer trailer. So this is going to be a free-to-play multiplayer, standalone. So you can buy the game for the campaign and storyline, but this will be a standalone, free-to-play multiplayer. Upon us, a new generation built to fight. Together, we are unstoppable. Are you ready? Play it day one with Xbox Game Pass. And we're back. All right, so I got to say, my favorite thought, my favorite thing that I've seen so far is the AI that you can have. Yeah, the AI the, is pretty cool. The AI itself isn't very detailed. They're like little right. icons or e emoji kind of looking things. No, I didn't know what I thought about the giant like head looking there's, egg there's shape. One that is ba like basically if you were to take your laptop and flip it over, it uh, would be like that. And the face is right here and it has like a tail on top of his head. Oh, okay. But like supposedly it's supposed to help you capture objectives. It talks to you, updates yeah. you like when things are dropping down or like when we saw where it's like, please get your ass to the nearest convenience yeah, or something like that. I thought that was really cool. Oh. I'm excited about that. I'm excited about the grapple hook too. It'll be different. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. The, the grappling hook I think will be my favorite thing. Oh yeah. Um, so I, I, I noticed they used it not only to grapple with, yeah. which for me is awesome. I play Fortnite a lot and that's one of my favorite things to do. But also they used it kind of like a harpoon to like mm -hmm. pull things yeah. to you, How which you is another the, thing I like to do on Fortnite as well. Um, <clears throat> you can expect me to be screaming out, get over here. <laughs> get over style, here. Um, quite that'd often. Be, be cool. uh, but I think that'll be my favorite thing. Or grapple jack. I can see some 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 nice trick shots coming with that. Yes, okay. I'm excited. That's the yeah. first thing I want to try is a grapple jack. I, I, I don't know if it'll work that way, but imagine if like you could grapple like projectiles like uh, like rockets or something and like fling them that would be stuff. pretty that cool, would be so cool. I, I doubt that'll happen yeah but that would be so cool if you could and at least probably hopefully explode them or something right yeah yeah because yeah. so I remember like practicing what was it Halo 2 or 3 I'd throw grenades up in the air yeah. and try to snipe them yeah yeah, yeah. <clears throat> what about you 
So my favorite thing, ooh, there's so much. Uh, the graphics, I think, was one of my favorite things. Uh, that first time when it shows the Spartan just running with the new helmet, the red mm. and black one, just running with the gun, and it was so clear. Like, it looked like actual sunlight just beating down on somebody in, like, a movie. And so I got to go with, the first off, the graphics. I just, the upgrade for the graphics were just so incredible. It looked uh, Call of Duty-level graphics. Like, it was a lot better. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't get this cartoony feeling. I got this real-life, uh, almost hyper-realistic look to it. And I was very happy about that. It was all crisp, clear. Um, the edges are very well defined, um, and that that stood out a lot to me. They're just the overhaul and the graphics. Uh, I think the overall gameplay looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. I noticed uh, something. I noticed there was a a graffiti on the wall of like a Master Chief. Right mm -hmm. whenever he grabbed the skull and yes, and yeah, it. sprays yeah. maybe. So I'm thinking sprays from like Fortnite where you can spray on stuff. Um, another interesting thing uh, you and I were talking about was the fact that the teammates will no longer be red versus blue. Yes, yeah, so yeah, it'll have that. like a like a, a red or blue outline. Yeah. But you're 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 no longer you'll no longer have a color skin forced on you. Yeah. Or, so I'm not wording that right, but yeah. <laughs> I, I would say a couple other things that I noticed that were different um, that I really liked. One was like the the real time um, kind of like defense against certain things mm -hmm. like how he, he was able to like launch yeah, past that the, the repulsor yeah i thought that was really cool how he went from literally swinging a hammer one second to just boom mm -hmm. walking yeah. and i thought he, that was really cool i didn't really pay attention and it, it probably wasn't but it makes me think of juggernaut yeah right right where he was running around with the hammer and how you take the juggernaut out as you hit him with the noob combo yeah and yeah. all he did was just no nope, sorry yeah, but he pulled out a BR after that and took him out. I think. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> um, so I liked that, and then I also liked the I don't know what else to call it other than like the death response or the death animations mm -hmm. when someone would get hit um, rather than just be like crumpling to the ground all <laughs> ragdoll. <laughs> yeah, you could see them like Ugh, like they got shot. And yeah, and the noises the too. The, n yeah. the noises that I heard yeah. when they were or, getting shot. Like the guy got ripped out of the the jet. Like the yeah, uh, whatever the vehicle was. Mm -hmm. You, and he's getting thrown out here. Ah! Yeah. As he's going. I thought that was kind of cool too. One of the things I noticed, and I'm pretty sure a lot of other people did too, was the shield. Yeah. You can take it out in sections. Oh, really? Yeah. Like there's there's different uh, squares yeah. or little quadrants so in, the, in the shield. Yeah. So you can almost edit then. Well, no. It, it was like... If someone shot that particular area, only that piece of the shield would break. Oh, okay, or okay, you okay. could you could shoot the the thing on the on the ground right. itself and break the whole and thing. yeah, and break the whole thing. See, that's cool. I, I thought you meant like you could deploy the shield as like a like a half wall or uh, like a window. You, or something. You, I think you can shoot through through it regardless. <clears throat> oh, nice. Yeah, it's one way of shooting. I think. I like yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I was wondering if they were going to bring back something like the dome, the bubble shield, mm -hmm. because I like the bubble shield. It was it was very helpful. And I was kind of sad to see it go because yeah. I was like, man, the bubble shield was so cool because you could just bam and there it was. And it would – bubble shields would piss me off <laughs> so much. But they were such a cool concept though because like you're under fire and bam, you throw the bubble shield. Well, well one, one thing that, that would drive, drive me crazy is sometimes, sometimes I'd, I'd be playing, playing with randoms and someone, someone would, would drop a bubble, bubble shield right as I'm shooting a rocket. And, and it would yeah, blow up in the face. Yeah. 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 And so, so that's, that's, that's cool. cool. You know, if somebody decides, decides to support you and protect you, they're, they're not going to inadvertently cause your death. death. Yeah. 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 True. So, so that, that'll, that'll, that'll be, be cool. cool. One thing, and it's been a rumor for a while. We, we were talking about it. I think you posted it, but there was rumors of six coming back. Yeah. I don't want that to happen. Mm. That is, I had the same thought. It would be cool. It would be super cool. And the only way I would like it to happen is if you play that character in Infinite. Mm -hmm. But another thing, like you said, it would completely demean everything you went through in Reach. Exactly. But if it was, yeah. But if it was, a, if it was an NPC character, I, I wouldn't like it. But if you presume the role as six while Master Chief is off doing other things like you did with Arbiter in right, Halo yeah. 2. Yeah, yeah. Then that'd, that'd, be would, kind of, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, that would be cool to do your own missions on Reach even. Like if, if you... I kind of just got chills, but like if you started out Infinite as six on Reach, oh, and you man. supposedly start helping them, and then it pans over to Master Chief, 
I mean, this is what if all together, I, I would rather it not happen. But if it did happen, that's what I would want to happen. Right. Yeah. I, as much as I would love to have him back, like it would be so cool to see him teaming up with the chief or something like mm-hmm. that, you know. But again, like we said, if you do that, then everything that he did on Reach is just it's gone. Like it, it's no longer as important. That whole scene where you're fighting to the death. literally to the death yes. with your life. <clears throat> and I'm sure at that point he real like the character would realize he's dead. Like there's yeah. no chance of making yeah. it out alive. Yeah. You know, and still making that sacrifice, knowing that what he's doing is going to ultimately lead to a victory yeah. for the good guys. You mm-hmm. know? Yeah. Um, and I'm getting chills just thinking about that right now. Right, right. <laughs> but like just for that to happen and then just to be like, yeah, no, he's not dead. He's he's he survived. You know, all this this high stakes thing. He survived it. He survived it. Well, like it's been like a, a uh, like kind of like a fan theory, but an unpopular fan theory that he hid out in a cave. Yes, oh. yeah, that he, yeah. he he survived in a cave somewhere. Which I mean, I remember the last scene of Halo Reach, <clears throat> where you see his helmet, and you can tell time has passed, like years have passed. Yeah, and you see. A ship in the background. It, it, it looks human, but it kind of looks Forerunner at the same time. Mm-hmm. So I was kind of curious about that. Because we know now that, I mean, the UNSC tech is combining with Forerunner tech. Hence yeah. the UNSC Infinity. Yeah. So, who's to say, you know, it wasn't us coming back to Reach. Right. Getting yeah. back, yeah. Mm-hmm. If they find a way to do it respectfully for the character, I mean, that would be cool. But I just don't don't see a way of them doing that. Yeah. Short of them going back to Reach <coughs> and then finding maybe his body or his armor or something. Something like that, That's, maybe. Yeah. Like, you know, then they can finally put him to rest or whatever. Mm-hmm. But I just don't see there being a way that they could actually bring him back, you know, respectfully. Alive. Yeah. And then as much as I love the Master Chief, a lot of really good characters kind of get overshadowed by him, which fair they enough, do, it's, yeah. it's kind of his, his show, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But that's a character I don't want to see get overshadowed and just become another background character. character yeah. yeah. You know, um, it's part of the reason why I hated uh, Locke so much. Like oh. he, he just, they, they try to shove him down your throat <laughs> <Yeah>. and ultimately <laughs> yeah. you end up hating him because, <laughs> you know, it's chief. Chief is the man. Like, yeah. Like, and what, I don't want something bad to happen and then bring back six. Right. And like, go full like army of two and turn him into the bad guy or yeah, you know, something. Cute. You know, I don't want to see something like where it's at now. I think is perfect for him. Yeah, uh, I'm laughing because there's somebody posted on Facebook. And they're like, "What kind of scene would you like to see Agent Lock in in Halo Infinite?" I said a death scene. <laughs> oh, dang. One where he's exploding a horrible death. <laughs> dang. And I had like a ton of people like it, dude. <laughs> yeah. <death scene. laughs> Poor guy. Yeah. I, I love his armor, but I, yeah, I, I did. Okay, so my next topic is, is a little bit off of the whole topic of the multiplayer and everything, but we've kind of already switched into the, the storyline. I like, what, are we, what is going on with Cortana? Where is Cortana? The rogue AI known as Cortana is gone. She's been deleted. How? By you? Of course not. Did you hit your head or something? Don't you remember? My instructions were to enter this installation, imitate Cortana, and lock her down for retrieval. Yours were to take her back to the Infinity for deletion. So if it wasn't you... Okay then. There's something else. On successful deployment, my deletion routine was supposed to complete. Still here. (laughs) Good. Good? Something stopped your deletion. We need to find out why. But this wasn't the mission. The missions change. They always do. Are you sure? Okay, so after listening to that, it's interesting because the new Cortana was supposed to be deleted after completion of her mission. She wasn't, but the original Cortana was deleted. 
and no one knows by who. It wasn't Master Chief. It wasn't the new Cortana, but she was deleted. And so my question is, is so this AI is pretty much a mimic, just a mimic, just a fake copy of Cortana, right? That was supposed to self-destruct. Mm-hmm. So protocol wise, everything should have should have died. Cortana is now magically dead. So there's the, the, the reason, like, why isn't she gone? Why isn't this new Cortana gone as well? So my, my theory is, is that before Cortana deleted herself, she overrode the circuit systems for the new AI and copied her data into the new AI as like a cloned herself into the new AI. Yeah. Well, not, <clears throat> one so thing it's still Cortana, but not, not the one we know. Yeah. <laughs> well, what I what I thought, and I, I think I've talked to Mikey about it before, is at the end of Halo Five, she split herself into several different fragments, yeah. or different rampancies. Yes. My theory was that the Cortana that we know, or that was four, not five, uh, the Cortana we know now is one of those fragments of rampancy, and the real Cortana either died in that event when she said goodbye to Master Chief, or she's still out there. That's <clears throat> that is a uh, a good theory, and I I could see that happening. So you're thinking the like evil I, one at the end of five was just one of the rampant clones mm-hmm. that who, that gained access to uh, the forerunner type. Yes, to the the record and the mantle and whatnot. <coughs> so she was able to stabilize herself. But if that's true, then what you know what rescued the original Cortana then? <laughs> if there were multiple Cortanas out there, yeah, because like in the in the books, the, some of the AIs, they would fragment themselves off to take yeah. care of several different tasks. Yeah. I'm but really there would right. still be the main AI that they right. would all go back to or they would be destroyed. The fragments would be destroyed. And another thing, thinking about that, to break topic of Cortana, do you know what's going on with Guilty Spark right now? Mm. He's in a, uh, yeah, a Promethean uh, armature skin. Like the the like just the normal robot looking things the uh, yeah. Prometheans you fought he's in one of those bodies right now, so he got swapped. Yeah, well oh. he he swapped himself. He swapped himself. Yeah. The uh, like his chassis was busted from Halo Three when Master Chief killed Hit him. Yeah, with the laser. And, mm-hmm. and UNSC comes in and, and grabs his memory and oh. starts interrogating him on one of the ships, and then yeah. he finds a way to take that ship over. Oh my! And I can't. Is that all in one of the books. Yeah, dang. So he's still out there. He's out there with a a clan. I can't, or not a clan, but a, a ship called the Ace of Spades. I think is what it was, or something like that. And the, he's upgraded their ship with Forerunner tech, a Forerunner Ooh. seed. So nice. I'm ex- I'm hoping, like I hope that uh, Halo better. Wars, the Spirit of Fire. I hope they get tied in the Infinite, and I hope the Ace of Spades gets tied in the Infinite. I, I think that's what the, what it was called, Ace of Spades. I'm probably I wrong. saw that there's two more books coming out. Mm-hmm. Did you see that? There's two more books coming out this year, and one of them is going to be mm-hmm. almost like a little prequel to Halo Infinite, with the beach, mm-hmm. uh, the beach, whatever. Uh, it was like a rogue beach, like Spartans on the grounds, right? Or was it Marines? What was it? Point of Light, the, the newest one where they go to Reach, Master Chief, they go to Reach and they get all the, the stuff to make the new Cortana or Cortana's yeah. sister. And uh, <clears throat> they, supposedly, that will be the first mission of Infinite is what people are hoping and nice. theorizing for. So if you go to Reach and you explore and you find, find that helmet. cave, that would yeah. be awesome. That would be cool. That would be a good way to tie six in the Infinite, even that though you couldn't cool. play as them. Yeah, I would like that. See, I always wondered... Like in Reach, you know, after all that stuff happens and you see the the helmet laying there or whatever, yeah, like you don't really see anything else. Like it doesn't mm-hmm. show you nah. any body. <laughs> it doesn't show you just the helmet. Anything else but the helmet. Yeah, right. <clears throat> so the helmet. I, they kind of left it open for anything to kind of really happen at yeah. that point. But again, I, I still don't know how I would feel about them right. trying to like bring him back alive. Well, it's like people with the uh, saying. Oh, one thing. Did you guys notice that the uh, in the multiplayer, that place that they're training at was... Uh, oh, named after Sergeant Johnson. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I couldn't remember the name of Academy, Space Academy of Sergeant Johnson or something yeah. like that. Yeah. That was cool. Yeah. And then in one of the pictures, like you can actually see Six's helmet. Oh, really? really? Yeah. 
Oh, I didn't even. See we'll, that. we'll have to watch it later. But yeah, there's there's a spot somewhere, and it's got either like a a lattice, like like a, not lattice, but like leaves or whatever. Right, yeah, yeah. And yeah. it has either stars around it, or it's just a circle, and it has Six's helmet in the middle nice. of it. Nice. <clears throat> yeah, so I missed that. We'll have to we'll have to go back and yeah, watch that. Too. That's really cool. I see. I, I like that. That's how I want them to bring these characters back. By honor, and you to honor them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, naming the academy after Johnson, yeah. like. Johnson to me was one of the the worst characters to lose. Like, oh yeah, his fun. loss, his yeah. death was the biggest to me. The biggest betrayal, like at the time, having him die, yeah, and you know, and it felt so bad. Yeah, and then like, there's not really much after that <clears throat> about him, and so to see them do that and name that academy, and this is Spartan like, Academy. Like, that's mm-hmm. the academy you're going to go to to become your new Spartan. So. I know one of the main enemy fractions for Halo Infinite is... Fractions? Factions. <laughs> we do math now or what? <laughs> we have enemy fractions. Okay, I might have to leave that in there because that was hilarious. Okay, so I know one of the main enemy factions in Halo Infinite is the Forbidden, right? Banished. Banished. Is the banished? He said it before we recorded. Yes, yeah. He knows so, it. I know it, but I don't know where I got from. And is the banished? So I know they have this theme about red, and that they're like the new covenant kind of, but they're like an off branch. What's going on with the banished? I don't know pretty much anything about them. Basically, the banished started with Atriox. Um, <clears throat> now, who's Atriox? Uh, he's like the main main antagonist in in Halo Wars Two. Okay. Uh, we haven't seen him in Infinite yet. You just saw Eshram, which is one of his hand, one of the one of the hand of At- Atriox, okay. and supposedly there's five because hand. <laughs> that, that's what people are saying. The, that would make sense. A, a lot of what I watch is, is what they're boss fights. what they're what they're talking about. Yes, that's what I'm excited for. I hope Halo Infinite does boss fights right. But basically, he he branched off the co- covenant. He did all the prophets bidding. And basically, he, like the Arbiter, only a brute, he was put yeah. in the missions that he wasn't expected to come back from. Him or his uh, uh, his crew. I can't remember what they call him. I was going to say brood, but that's not it. But basically, he <clears throat> rebels against the Covenant, and all the brutes that were in the same clan that he was start rising up. And he's even, like, in Halo Wars 2, I believe he, he like, hired one of the elite commanders to help him... Uh, <clears throat> try and take over or kill Red Team in the very beginning of the game. Oh, gotcha. So basically, he has his own army of brutes, and they uh, we don't know how they got on Infinite yet, but they were on the Ark in Halo Wars 2, and the portals on, ha- on the Ark were taking them to different places. So I guess through yeah. the Ark, they found either a portal to Halo or Zeta Halo, or Eshram's group found it somehow. Gotcha. But at the end of Halo Wars 2, they are taking a halo. The Spirit of Fire, one one lady is taking a halo through slip space so she can try to get to where she can reach the U- UNSC because yeah. they've been gone for, I think, 30 or 40 years. Wow. And uh, Cortana stops her. Like, you see a cutscene right at the end where the halo stops. And she's like, you know, why did this stop? And she goes outside. And there's a guardian that rises up above the, the horizon of the ring. So <clears throat> we just we don't know how they got there. We know Atriox is most likely still on the Ark, but Atriox is the one who runs the Banished. Okay. So ba- that's that's why like you see like in Halo Three like all the brutes weapons like the were all rugged. Yeah. And uh, like the chopper was all rugged and like when the trailer hit for the multiplayer, everybody was freaking out. Oh, the, the chopper's back, the chopper's yeah, back. But we yeah. caught a glimpse of it in one of the screenshots in the update just before the... Uh, the release. Yeah. And you can see it way down, like, in the distance in the picture. Gotcha. You see, like, this red and silver speck, and everybody's like, oh, it's, it's the... It's the, uh, the brute chopper? Yeah, the chopper. It's a chopper. Nice. Which I'm excited for that. I, I like the upgrade to the Brutes weapons. They look a lot more refined now. Too. Yeah, I do like like the look of the new Ghost. Oh, yeah. The, yeah. <laughs> the, the uh, Banshee. So what is the Banish's motive? What's their motive? Like, what's their end game? Do you know? I'm not really sure. 
It's, it's been a while. I need to refresh myself. We'll have books. to find out what they're... Because that'll be a main thing in that new game, I think, is what their end game is. What is their plan for humanity and the Covenant? I think it's just domination. Or, One thing, if you guys haven't, and for our audience, if you have Audible, if you have Amazon Prime, you get a free credit every month for a book. Yep. Download Audible and listen to the Forerunner Trilogy when you're ready to be hyped. Because the majority of it is either about or on Zeta Halo. Oh, nice. And so, that's the biggest thing I'm looking forward to is exploring Zeta Halo and finding all these snippets. Like there were human villages on there. The really? Primordial was on Zeta Halo. The Palace of Pain where they would experiment on, on, the, on the humans mm-hmm. is on Zeta Halo. Like all this story. The, the, nice. the trilogy is amazing. I'll and I just... Because I've, I've got Audible. Oh, I, I do recommend Audible. Uh, I read one of the books in the Forerunner trilogy. I don't remember which one it was, which one it was, but I had gone to the to the library, and they had them there, nice. and I got one and, and read it. It was I'm assuming it was the first one because I try not to read things out of order. Yes, yeah, but it's been so long now that I should probably go back and get this. Get I mean, them. this trilogy you can you can read without reading any previous ones. It it goes on to talk about born born stellar makes eternal eternal lasting who is. Now the ISO didact, okay. which crazy theory, and I think we've talked about this before, is every human usually gets a, a geus mm-hmm. or a gayish, gayish, or some. I can't remember the exact pronunciation on it. I'm pretty sure, it's but it's gayish. like their ancestor inside your head. Oh, okay. And it's like a lot Assassin's of Creed kind of, kind of, yeah. And it'll it'll speak to you. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> I can't remember the. The human admiral, admiral's name, but uh, he's in one of the humans. Gosh, yeah, I need to I need to listen to him again. But basically, they're they're saying that you can't cross uh, species a gayish. So like a human can't have a forerunner gayish. But uh, I'm just gonna say all variations of that word yeah. until I get it right. Right. But it's speculated that Master Chief has isodidax gayish. Really. Because there's scenes where oh, it was it was in the MCC. It was like the first terminal you can find, I think. And uh, it's Guilty Spark trying to address the Pillar of Autumn before they yeah. crash land. And he's like, it's like certain protocols need to happen before you're allowed to land. And after, I need yeah. to verify the presence of your gayish. And then it shows Master Chief's helmet. And he immediately clears the landing path for him. Really? And he's, he says, we have so much to catch up on. Oh, Chills. he does. He does. Chills. Yeah. Well, like, it was, it was, like, I felt like it was so close to happening. And I don't even know if it's going to, that this story uh, is going to continue. But in Halo 4, where the librarian gives Master Chiefs his gifts, mm-hmm. but the only thing we saw out of the gifts was one, and it was his immunity to the composer. Yeah. Yeah. So what else is going to happen? I think he's got more gifts. Yeah. But, like, what? And, like, a lot of people speculate that Cort- or not Cortana, uh, Halsey has a librarian's gayish. I can see that. So, I- I'm excited to see where it goes. If that doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. So, what do you guys think about Halo Infinite, the fact that it's called Infinite, uh, is going to be the only Halo game for the next 10 years? It worries me, but there's hope. Because everything is DLC related now, right? Like I, I've been pay, playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and like the first, I guess, campaign extension just came out, and they're already talking about another one. Like these days, because we're old, I had to say these days, games aren't what you buy them as anymore. Mm-hmm. Games are they everlasting. Stand. They're they're yeah, learning. They're yeah. changing. Like, yeah. um, we see it these days in a lot of games. You know, um, we have stuff like Fortnite with battle passes yeah. mm-hmm. and the ever changing lore throughout that. So that's what's something <laughs> that is not concrete. It's just they throw mm-hmm. stuff out there and add to it. You know, each season yeah. or or whatever. Um, but even beyond that, you get games like GTA, uh, GTA Five, for yeah. instance. They're just now talking about GTA 6 potentially happening. Yeah. But they're still putting stuff out for 5. Yeah. And, and how still old is 5? Very, very old. <laughs> like, it came out on the 360 at one point. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the fact that they're still staying re- relevant by adding about 10 years. new content, whether it 
and in, I mean the the town or the the city you're in stays the same. Yeah, but they're adding in new cars. They're adding yeah. in new storylines for you know like Skins, costumes, Skins, weapons. Yeah. Fortnite adding in all their their little cosmetics and stuff like that, and their crossover and stuff. Games nowadays can maintain relevance longer. by updating constantly. Yeah. And I'm not even saying like what Fortnite does, where each week there's a new update of something. Yeah, it doesn't thing. have to be that fast. Think about all the different lore from Halo, you know, yeah. all the stuff like that you just talked about mm -hmm. from the books. That could all be adapted into the game mm -hmm. at some so point. So even if, say, within the next five years, Halo Infinite starts looking a bit dated with newer graphics and newer, like the Xbox X Slim or whatever comes out, you know, it's only going to get better. So say Infinite within the next five years starts looking dated. Yeah. They can add a patch and download that updates the graphics. And we could see that through Fortnite. So we hope you guys enjoyed our Halo Infinite lore, backstory, and just kind of our delve into the new game that's coming out. I think it's going to be great. Um, thank you, Brian, for joining us. No uh, problem. You really added a lot to this whole background story, a lot of the stuff that we kind of didn't know about because you're kind of the Halo lore guy here. <laughs> and uh, you've added a lot to the story. Uh, thanks for coming on the show. No problem. Uh, Mike, what do you got? I've never really been that pumped for multiplayer before, but I'm really pumped for this multiplayer. Like, seeing all the new, the new stuff that they're adding, mm -hmm. it almost feels like a whole new game. It uh, What I described it was, it was like a, a cross between Reach and Halo 3, is what yep. it reminded me of. Yeah. The, Which was the, the look, golden age, in my opinion. Yeah, mm -hmm. The look looks like Halo Reach, but the feel is going to be like Halo 3. Yes, yeah, I, I can't wait. So I uh, hope you guys like this. Uh, I know I'm super excited. I cannot wait for this holiday season. Uh, if you guys like this video and want more content about Halo or any other video games that are coming out, hit us up in the comment section below. We'll check it out and let you know what we think. And let us know what uh, what you think of the new Halo. Yeah. Are you looking forward to it? We know we are. Look forward to seeing you guys in the comments. <laughs> and until next time.